Hi, my name is Fred. I'm at the historic Greeley Inn in Greeley, Pennsylvania, and this is the best cherry moonshine recipe and cherry bounce recipe from scratch. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below, and share on all your social media platforms. At the end of this video, please look for all of our other bar, restaurant, and moonshine related videos. Thanks for watching. Okay, as I said earlier, you're getting a two for today. We're making cherry bounce and cherry moonshine. So the first one we're making is cherry bounce. It's a lot easier. What you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need uh, to fill your, this is a one quart mason jar, which is four cups. You're gonna need to fill that three quarters of the way up with cherries. I've already, uh, you could buy the frozen cherries, which is so much easier to do. That way you don't have to pit them or anything. So you wanna fill that up about three quarters of the way with uh, your cherries, and these were frozen cherries that I just defrosted. And then we are gonna add a half a cup of brown sugar. Okay, and we're just gonna put that right in. Oop. You're gonna clean your mess because we always make messes around here. There we go. And then on top of that, we are gonna put one cinnamon stick. We're gonna put it right along the side there. You're gonna put one, I mean, mini dash of cloves. One mini dash of cloves. That's it. One little, boop, 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 that's it. I saw it go out, it wasn't that much. And then you're gonna do one just dab of nutmeg, ground nutmeg. There we go. Now on top of this, uh, classically you could use bourbon or brandy, but you could use any alcohol you want. I will be using bourbon, I'm using Jim Beam. You're gonna uh, pour enough bourbon in to cover the cherries. Uh, I've already made measurements, it's gonna be about 12 ounces of, uh, of bourbon that's gonna go on top of this. You know what, let's do it this way. It'll be a lot quicker. There you go, it's all covered. Cap that up. We're gonna put a cap on this. And now we are just gonna slowly tumble it just to incorporate everything, try to start diluting that sugar. There we go. And that is your cherry bounce. Now this is not immediate gratification. This is gonna wait about three months. You're gonna put it in a cool, dry place uh, and just let it sit. You don't need to move it, you don't need to shake it. Now if you do see the sugar building up, again, you do wanna give it a couple tumbles there because we are trying to uh, get all the sugar dissolved and get it in there. This is delicious. Again, you could use any alcohol you want. I do prefer the bourbon or, uh, or whiskey, but you could use rum, you could use spice rum, you could use vodka, you could use Everclear, use whatever you want. It's your cherry bounce. And it is, in three months, delicious. I'm back, I just wanted to show you, it's been a few minutes. I've tossed and turned it just a few times lightly. You don't wanna overshake it, you don't wanna damage the cherries. But if you can see, there's very little sugar that is left in there. Mostly all of that brown sugar has dissolved. So we are good to go. Just want okay, to get we bit. just made cherry bounce. Now we are making cherry moonshine. Again, very similar, but this is instant gratification. Unlike the cherry bounce where you have to wait a couple months before you can enjoy it. This you could start enjoying right after we're done, or you could let it sit to let everything incorporate. All right, so for this, you're gonna need about two pounds. I'm using two pounds of uh, cherries. These were the frozen sweet cherries. Uh, that I defrosted, so I didn't buy any ones that I had to, you know, pit and do all that stuff. So you got two pounds of the cherry. Oh, you're going to need your handy dandy large pot. On top of that, we are going to add one 32 fluid ounce uh, jar of, this is the tart cherry juice. There are several different kinds, so you could just find them at any big box store. You're going to use 32 ounces. There you go. Then on top of that, you're gonna use two of the ocean spray. I'm using the uh, Diet Cran Cherry. You're gonna use two of these. Two of the Diet Cran Cherry. Each one of these is 64 ounces, so you're using 128 ounces of the Cran Cherry. Uh, the reason I like using the Diet Cran Cherry is this is going to be very sweet at the end and I'm trying to take some of the sweetness out and get a little more tartness in there. You can use Juicy Juice. Juicy Juice makes the same size, but that is very sweet. So we're going to use, again, two of the Ocean Spray Cran Cherries. Get it all in there. Perfect. Now, in top, on top of this, inside of this, we're going to put 
one cup I pre-measured of brown sugar. There we go. Um, and I'll stop right there. If you want to make it more of a summer cherry moonshine, you would use all white sugar. Because I'm making this, it's, it's the end of the summer, it's August, I'm getting into my fall flavors. So I'm using brown sugar. The only difference between the white sugar and the brown sugar is brown sugar has molasses, it's molasses in it. So it has a slight caramel or toffee flavor, which I like. So if you want to do that, you would use, then you would use, I'm sorry, one and a half cups of white sugar if you're just making it with the white sugar, but I'm using one cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar. That goes right in there. On top of that, you're going to use cinnamon sticks. Again, if you're making a summer one, you don't need to use the cinnamon sticks because I'm making this more of a fall one. I'm putting in five cinnamon sticks. Two, three, four, five. Five cinnamon sticks. We're going to use a dash of cloves. If you have whole cloves, that's better. I do not, so I'm using the powdered cloves, the ground cloves. One good dash. There we go. They're, they could be overwhelming, so be careful with that. And we're going to put in a little nutmeg. We're going to do two dashes. Let's do three. I love nutmeg. Now, if you want to cheat, instead of putting the cinnamon, the nutmeg, and the cloves, you could use pumpkin pie spice. I am not doing that. I'm using them each individually. Now, we're going to bring this over to uh, our star burner. We're going to warm this up. As soon as it gets to a boil, we're going to lower it and simmer it for five minutes to incorporate everything as well as dilute the sugars that we have in there. So I'll be right back with this. Okay, make sure you have a mat down on your counter. We don't want to burn it. So this has been uh, brought to a boil and let it simmer for five minutes. Now we're just going to let it get cooled down a little bit longer before we put in the good stuff. Oh, one thing I do want to mention is continue to stir it. I don't know if I mentioned that before. We want to make sure we don't have anything, you know, burn on the bottom of it. So we want to continue to stir it every couple minutes or however long it takes for boil just to keep everything moving and incorporate all the flavors. But now let's let it cool for a few minutes and then the good stuff. All right, it has cooled down enough. Doesn't look like there's anything steam coming off it. So now we're going to add the good stuff to it. So what I like to start out with is we're going to use one 750 milliliter bottle of Everclear. This is the 151 proof Everclear. You can use the 190 proof if you prefer, but I prefer the 151 proof. We're going to pour the whole bottle in. So one bottle of that Everclear. And then we're going to add, we're going to add one and a half cups of, I have here the Cherry brandy, super sweet, only 33 proof, one and a half cups, which is 12 ounces. Right on the dot there, and we're putting in cherry brandy. Perfect. And you know me, I'm a bourbon guy. I'm also going to put one cup I pre-measured of, this is cherry bourbon. This is the Evan Williams cherry, I should have said that. There you go, now we're gonna stir to incorporate this. Oh, this smells delicious. And now this is all done. You can drink this right now. It does taste better if you let it sit overnight. If you let it sit a week, just so it can incorporate all the flavors, it makes it a little smoother. But this is good in your refrigerator for up to six months, delicious. So now we're gonna jar this up. I'm putting, I'm starting it by putting it in a half gallon mason jar, but again, you could buy water jugs, uh, you know, use the water and save the jug and you could put it in through that. I'm going to use a mixing tin here to scoop this out just to show you what it looks like. And you do want to get some, stra some strawberries, some cherries in this. There we go. All right. There we have our cherry moonshine. We're going to lid this up. We're going to refrigerate this or put this in the back of the fridge. You could drink it right now. Uh, it will yield about uh, a gallon and a half to two gallons, probably a gallon and three quarters of the product, and you could start drinking it for immediate satisfaction. This is Cherry Moonshine, and it is delicious. Hey, thanks for watching. Again, we appreciate it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below, and share on all your social media platforms. At the end of this video, which is right now, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. Thanks for watching.